After a year of searching for his beloved wife, Rama arrived at Ravana's palace, ready for battle. At Rama's side were his loyal brother Lakshmana, his new ally Hanuman, the monkey demigod, and an army of monkeys and bears. On the other side of the golden walls, the evil Ravana waited with a weapon in each of his many hands, his demon army ready for war. When the battle began, the outcome wasn't clear. There were hard losses on both sides, but finally, it all came down to Rama's master archery skills and his magic bow and quiver with infinite arrows. Rama slew Ravana after several days of bloody battle. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, you ten-headed creep. Finally, Sita and Rama were reunited at last, but a year had gone by and Rama was conflicted. He was glad to see his wife, but how could he know if she had stayed faithful to him? Sita enlisted the help of a fire god to prove her loyalty. She had Lakshmana build a towering bonfire. Sita turned to her husband, saying that if she had betrayed him, her body would burn. Then she stepped into the fire. The fire goddess Agni, seeing her faithfulness, protected her from the devastating flames. Sita was unharmed. Relieved, Rama welcomed her back with open arms. Understanding the debt he owed to the monkey kingdom for their sacrifices, Rama asked the god Indra to revive the monkeys and bears who had died in the battle. The god granted Rama's request and the monkeys and bears lived. With his beloved wife, his brother Lakshmana, his new friend Hanuman, and an army of monkeys, Rama finally returned home to Ayodhya to claim his throne.